For a clock to run properly, the length of the even beats should be the same as the length of the odd beats. This is called being in beat. Microset has a special mode to help set this called the beat error mode. Beat error can only be measured with the acoustic sensor. You can't use the optical sensor for this measurement because the position of the sensor will overshadow the measurement. Clip the sensor to the clock plate as close to the escapement as you can get. Press the microset mode button until the LCD screen says beat error and then hit the begin button. Watch the red light on the front of the timer. It should blink steadily on every beat. If the light seems to miss some beats, you may need to turn the level control higher. If the light seems to blink too often, you may need to reduce the level control. A setting near the 1 o'clock position, just right of center, is a good place to start. Microset will measure the relative duration of two ticks and display the difference between them as a percentage. If the clock is badly out of beat, the percentage of difference will be large. If the clock is nearly in beat, the percentage will be small. A large reading would be something over 20%. You can probably hear a difference of 20%, but below this, microset will be more accurate than your ear. If the difference is 0%, the clock is in perfect beat. But you'll never get the beat error mode to read the same number every time. In fact, the numbers are likely to vary in a regular pattern of getting larger and then smaller as the escape wheel rotates. Ideally, you'll try to adjust a clock so the changing numbers are centered around zero. In other words, try to get the numbers to go positive and then negative by equal amounts with each rotation of the escape wheel. If you do this, you're at the center of beat and you have placed the clock as in beat as that clock is able to run. Sometimes you may see a value that's wildly different. This is usually caused by an extraneous noise and can be ignored. On the other hand, a bad tooth on the escape wheel will also create an odd reading, but it will repeat with each rotation of the escape wheel.